the Rockman Corvex and his Nuke Blaster have gotten themselves a new buff in the form of an augment. With this, you're gonna be able to armor ship enemies with your second ability, meaning nuking out the Wazoo. So we'll continue on watching and you will find out how to do that. Corvix hasn't gotten a direct buff in the newest update, but he has gotten this new augment mod, Wrecking Wall. So, Containment Wall will armor strip enemies now, and it will restart the duration of Chironka Pillars and empower them. So, this is very, very nice. But, what are these Chironka Pillars, you might be asking yourself? Well, that means we're gonna have to get into the passive and the abilities. His passive, of course, being that his weapons gain additional plus three punch through, which is very good especially on some decent weapons and maybe some that you may be seeing in the background but his first ability Chirinka pillar basically this summons a maximum of two pillars when enemies go inside they get hit by radiation and a 35% slow that sadly cannot be increased but it's better than nothing of course radiation makes enemies shoot each other so this is very good for crowd controlling and survivability containment wall oh yes we talked about this this basically summons two walls and then squishes enemies together fully armor stripping them with the augment applying radiation damage as well and Honestly, this could be a little bit better, but you can make containment wall work and make it, I guess, more fun than now that can armor strip in compared to other helmet abilities, grouping helmet abilities, of course. Uh, Disometric Guard, yes, Disometric Guard is very good. This is basically a free adaptation. So every time you get hit, one of the charges gets used up and it absorbs the status effect. But if you kill and or get an assist on an enemy that has radiation, it will recharge it. So that's a very cool. And considering you're basically gonna have a lot of enemies, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of these charges and then crucible blast this is the fourth nuking ability basically you fire off your core and do massive amounts of radiation damage that chains the nearby enemies and also keep this in mind the more enemies you have the stronger this attack is gonna be armor strip them and they are dead now if you actually aim this ability at the uh, first ability, Charanka Pillars, you're actually going to make them pulsate and deal even more damage, chaining even more damage, and basically just almost clearing out more rooms than you can possibly handle. But that is basically Corvex. Corvex is much, much better now, and I have sort of two builds for you guys. So we're going to go into the first one. We have Growing Power, we have Umbral Vitality, Rolling Guard, Equilibrium, we have Stretch, we have Overextended, Transient Fortitude, Umbral Intensify, and then Wrecking Wall, which we talked about. We have Molt Augmented and then Molt Reconstruct for health. And of course, Power Drift. Now, the second build is pretty much the same, but we have Arcane Aegis instead of uh, Arcane, oh, sorry, Molt to reconstruct now both builds work completely fine you can use either one that you would possibly like uh, i personally love the multi reconstruct one because you're using your ability at least the second one wrecking wall a lot and or i guess containment wall and you're gonna be gaining a lot of health back from it of course we do have equilibrium which gives us even more health i tried going the brief respite shield route it didn't really work i think that this is sort of a safety build now you can always change it up and you might be asking where's our energy well, Archon Shards. We have one Tau Forge Topaz one, giving us 15% ability damage on radiation. Another one, red one, that's going to give us 50% power strength. We have forecasting speed and then two Tau Forged, actually one Tau Forged blue and then one normal for energy. That is the way that we're going to gain energy. Of course, you can change out the build a little bit, put flow or prime flow instead of there and then maybe, you know, give yourself health through the Archon Shards. It is completely up to you. Now, the focus cool. Madurai, of course, we have a sling strength for power strength of course on our warframe and then we have power transfer for extra additional casting speed and that's why we do not have a yellow archon shard and now the weapons personally the secondary is going to be the epitaph i use this for priming cold on enemies and mostly for gaining shields back now it is pretty cool. You can use something else, of course. I just primarily use it for that. The melee weapon uh, is honestly not that important. You can use anything. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I personally use the Okina Prime, but you can use whatever good melee weapon that you have. The primary weapon is where I actually have two different weapons. We have the Nautaruk, which everyone should be able to get. Uh, the Nautaruk, we have Galvanized Chamber, Vital Sense, Prime Cryo Rounds, Malignant Force, Hunter, uh, sorry, Prime Tread, 
Prime Bane of uh, Orokin, Critical Delay, and then Hunter Munitions, and then Vigilante Supplies, and then Primary Merciless. Now, this is, I guess, the primary Nathorok build that I use. It works really well. It does have infinite punch through, so it doesn't really benefit too much from the additional passive, but it is a really good weapon because you're gonna be punch throughing a lot of enemies because of the containment wall. And now, the sort of better, maybe, weapon I would call it, it is gonna be the Paris Prime Incarnate. You can also use the Dread Incarnate, it is completely up to you, but these are the two weapons that I prefer, and especially the Paris. And this is what the Paris build looks like. Prime uh, Bane of Orokin, Shred, Vital Sense, Split Flights, giving us multi-shot but reducing our accuracy, Malignant Force, Critical Delay, Prime Cry Rounds, Hunter Munitions, Terminal Velocity, and then Primary Merciless. Now, of course, if you don't have the Power Iron Variants, use the base variants. The evolutions are, there you go, you can see them up on the screen. Uh, and of course, if you don't have some of the mods, equip uh, other ones, but you're trying mostly just to get as much damage as possible. So, those are the weapons. And of course, we have the Companion of Choice, the uh, Nautilus. Now, Nautilus is mostly here for sort of crowd controlling and also uh, through Sin Deconstruct, giving us extra health and orbs and in addition giving us extra energy orbs now you can use different one different companions uh, i tried with worm prime to i guess make a shield build it didn't really work out but the worm is really good to have you can also use the panzer if you really would like to but nautilus seems like the best option to me but now you're wondering how am i supposed to play this build well basically activate your three just to you know be safe and to protect yourself from status effects set up your two pillars and then go to armor ship enemies and then just use your four on the pillars and just nuke everything uh, the best playstyle that i recommend sadly is going to be corridor based now sort of 95% of Warframe maps are corridors, uh, and because of containment wall being such a linear ability, you're gonna have to go and play. You can basically hold off three different angles with this, because you gain so much energy, and because you group up enemies, you wait for them to group up, you can nuke a lot of them, and this could be very good, because you're always gaining energy, you're always armor stripping, your first and your third is almost always active, and all you need to do is just press your four and then nuke everything around you. Play, rinse, reset and there you go nuke again and that is corvex i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did do leave a like comment down below on what you think of our rock blaster and of course do subscribe i do try to make the best warframe builds that i possibly can for every single one of you guys i love you this has been the gaming weasel over and out